All right. I cannot sit back and be silent about this. I am so fed up with the volume of judgment in this country. Now somebody's accusing Tony Robbins, right, of sexual misconduct, really people? A man who wrote the book on, right, compassion, human potential, transformation of millions of people, heads of states, heads of countries, this is really sad, everyone. I cannot say enough about this atrocious behavior in the media, right? Um, and others that are out there perpetuating this act of judgmental behavior. It's like cancer in our society, and it really has to be stopped. And it's time to take action. You gotta ask yourself, are you adding to the judgment, right? The problem in the country, or are you being a part of the solution? Here's mine, right? I'm not gonna just stand up here and preach. I'm gonna give you, as a success coach, as a spiritual coach, as a life coach, as someone who friggin' cares about humanity, and some of us, including myself, cleaning up our act, cleaning up our judgment, and that is this. If you don't run to Amazon on your laptops, on your phones, and don't buy this book, well, all I can say is please, please, and I'm going to talk about this in, in just a minute, please get this book. Judgment Detox is a complete life-changing right, piece of material by Gabrielle Bernstein, who a lot of you know. She's amazing. And it's literally, right, helping eradicate, change our default behavior, which is judgment, self-judgment, judgment of others. And we're in this, it's, almost, it's like an addictive behavior. I didn't realize it until I started reading it, right, and realized how much not only did I self-judge, but I judged others. In fact, she opens up the book. Right? Her very first page is, okay, I'm taking a big, deep breath. I judge, and I judge far and wide. Therein lies the reason for the book, because of the divisiveness, excuse me, the divisiveness in this country, and how we as human beings must start changing our own behaviors, right? And what the book is really about is not only recognizing when you're in judgmental behavior about yourself or others, but to be able to choose differently. And what this is based on is the Course of Miracles, which is a spiritually based piece of work. And you choose love, faith, trust, gratitude, acceptance, respect, cooperation, collaboration, instead of judgment, which is ego, which is separation, right? kind of no fault of anybody's. We've all been, you know, imprinted. We've all been um, affected by this in our lives. And she gives a solution, right, to the divisiveness in this country and in ourselves. And that is judgment detox. It's a six-step process. It's a six-step um, way of living and how to choose differently. Choose love, choose acceptance, choose non-judgment, right? It's a spiritual life. Listen, our ego, right, our egos are never going to go away, but we can learn, right, tools and practices and how to stop the judgment while you're in it and be able to choose differently, which is love, which is acceptance, which is caring. Look. All of us humans, I don't care how you slice it, we all want the same thing, right? We all want, again, love. We want connection. We want acceptance. We want respect, right? None of us are different. But unfortunately, and I bless anyone that's had any sort of challenging experience in their life, and God knows I have. 
This is a tool. This is a, a literally a healing tool to judgment in how you operate in life, right? And so what happens is we, just like what's happening with this whole Tony Robbins thing, is that we unconsciously go right to judgment and we perpetuate it by what we talk about, what we spread as far as info, what we stand for, is that we're in this place of judgment, right? So my solution is this not only learning her six steps, but practicing it, right? In the last 30 days, here's what's happened in my life since following this book. And you can ask anyone lately who I've been talking to, anyone that will listen, I am telling them, get this book and please heal your life. Heal your judgment. Heal this ego part of who you are, right? And be able to choose differently, again, which is love, okay? And what's happened in the last 30 days um, from reading this book, applying the principles, applying the tools, is I've not only started to change the way I think about not only myself, but then others, um, but take action on it. Um, I have, my business is growing. It's all in 30 days. Um, I brought in some outstanding new clients and you know who you are. And I love the current ones. Um, money growth, a new romance. It's just starting. So those of you that know me, hang tight. I'll share about that later. Um, and of course, my own self-acceptance and a much higher vibe of living. This is all just in 30 days of being dedicated to this book, the teachings, and understanding truly the pain that's not only in my own life, but in others and in this country, right? And that was the reason for her writing this book. She wrote it on the onset of the 2016 election and all the divisiveness that's been happening in this country. So my point is, I know it's a tall order. But you know what? It starts with ourselves. You know, be the change you wish to see in the world. That's what I'm doing today is that my contribution to the solution of judgment, right, of fear, all these things that are going on in this country is this, right, besides the work I do in the world. But pick up this book. Listen to the audio. Read the Kindle version, whatever, right? But please start healing your judgments and pass it on to those you love because we all want to be part of the solution, right? Not the problem, right? Again, judgment detox. Gabby Bernstein rocks. It will rock your world and it will change it for the good. All right. Thanks for listening. Bye.